people are interesting, and I really enjoy getting to know and meet a person and find out their story. And in the course of a conversation, what are some questions that are often asked about the other party? Well, one question I get quite a bit is, well, Keith, what do you do for a living? And I'll explain that I, I do teaching and I'm involved with networking and computers. And then I'll follow it up by saying, you know what? And someday networking and computers is really going to be a big deal. It may take off. And the reason that's funny for almost everybody is because computers and networking are so integral with almost everything we do today. Well, another aspect of working with computers and networking, which is referring to cyber, cyber meaning anything dealing with networks and computers, another big aspect and career path is cyber security. So in this video, I'd like to talk with you just for a few minutes about some possible careers that you could pursue in the world of cyber security. So even though I've been working in IT information technology and security for decades, I decided to go and do some search on some careers in the world of cybersecurity and I made a list. And here is the list that I made. I put it inside of a word processing document. And here is the list. This is kind of a long list. Information security analyst, network security administrator, cyber crime investigator, et cetera, et cetera. And what I think would be fun to do is let's take all these and put them into a word cloud. So I used the quick search engine, searched for word cloud generator, and came up with this one right here. It's jasondavies.com. Thank you very much, Jason Davies. And let's go ahead and just paste in our content here. So I'll do a control A to select everything. Then we'll take the contents of that Word document, do a control V, paste in, and click on go. And then I thought to myself, self? Instead of just making a list of all these titles and positions that we could have in cybersecurity, why don't we go ahead and take a look real time at some job sites regarding jobs that are in demand today. And there's lots of job websites that we could look at. And let's flip a coin. One, we'll use Dice, and two, we'll use Monster, and we'll have Amazon Echo help us. Alexa, flip a coin. Heads. Okay, she says it's heads, so we'll use Dice. Let's take a look. So here at Dice.com, let's go ahead and put in cyber security. So we have a cybersecurity project manager, security administrator, intrusion detection something. We can click on that for more details. Senior network engineer focused on firewalls, load balancers, and security. If we click on that to take a look at it, we can take a look at the details. Now, we may not have all the qualifications, but what we also know is that nobody was born with all the skills that they need for their job. Those are learned skills. So we could take examples like this, what they're looking for, and we could identify, well, what do we have? So for the senior network engineer, they'd want to be responsible for firewalls, which could be like Cisco or Checkpoint or Palo Alto or others, uh, IDS, IPS, intrusion detection prevention systems, load balancers. The person needs to be able to analyze and resolve network security, hardware and software incidents, and act as a liaison. Here are some of the qualifications they'd like, including ITIL, and there's currently ITIL 3 and ITIL 4. And they're looking for strong experience in Palo Alto, so that answers the question regarding what type of firewalls they're primarily using, and for load balancers, they're using F5, which is the big IP product. And one of the benefits of looking at job postings like this is we can identify, okay, what skills do I currently have and what skills do I not have? Do I need to improve on or get? So if we went back one page and back one more and continue down, here's a cybersecurity analyst. We can click on that, again, just to see kind of the details of what they're looking for. And then by looking at the job description and the primary responsibilities, we can identify, you know what? Okay, I've got some of these skills, I don't have others. And regarding the skills that we don't yet have or possess, there's never been a baby that was born. The doctor holds up the baby and says, oh my gosh, this baby's going to be a cybersecurity analyst. That, that's if it's a male doctor. If it's a female doctor, maybe a lighter voice. In any event, no baby is ever born with that knowledge. It's all learned. So the secret is to take steps in that direction towards those skills that are being desired and demanded for the roles that you'd want to have in cybersecurity. And it's really a progression. It's not from A to Z in one day. It's from A to B and B to C as you continue to grow those skills. So this has 64 positions that were hit for cybersecurity within 30 miles of my location. And this is very likely a very representative sample of being near any metropolitan area. In this video, we've taken a moment to identify there's lots of potential opportunity for growth and careers in the world of cybersecurity. And I've got a homework assignment that I'd love for us to do. Number one, I'd like you to go to a search engine for jobs, whether Monster or Dice or whatever your favorite one is, and search for cybersecurity. And then from that listing, just identify a couple roles or positions that seem interesting to you and open them up and look at the details. And from that, I'd like you to identify three things. One, I'd like you to identify some of the skills that they're looking for that you already have at some level. Two, 
I'd like you to identify, based on what they're looking for, some skills that you do not yet have. And then third, identify what could you start doing today and tomorrow and the day after to help building those skills so you're more in line with what the market's looking for. And that's the secret to success, making every step in the right direction, building your skills one day at a time. So have some fun with that exercise. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.